It's Oyatsu Box time! Now, before I do begin this video, uh, those of you who are subscribed to the channel or keep up with this uh, Oyatsu Box series may notice that, um, well, it's been quite a while since I last did one. In fact, where's the December one? You may be asking. Well, <laughs> they haven't sent it, but they've still charged me for it. I did email them, but they haven't responded. So I decided that I'm going to cancel my subscription with them because, well, Oyatsu Box literally took my money and didn't give me anything in return. So this will actually be the last Oyatsu box that I make a video on because, well, I don't want to support a company that takes my money for nothing. Anyway, on the bright side, they did actually send the January one, so well done to them there. That's like five or six boxes have actually delivered, so well done. But anyway, enough about me being salty about literally being ripped off. Let's jump into this. Now I think, I'm pretty sure this is the January one, I could actually be wrong here, and this could actually be the December one, and the January one is just very, very late, because those of you with a keen eye will notice that this, this is being uploaded at the start of February. Uh, usually, these boxes arrive from the 19th of every month. Uh, I don't know what's up, maybe their shipping's a bit off forever, but, you know, it's not all that late, and the email does say to allow up to the uh, 10th of the next month, and arrived on the 2nd of February, so it's not all that much of a big deal. So, let's take a look at the topper. And this month seems to be snow of some kind. I had to box, and it's snowy. Yeah, okay. I'm going to take a very quick look at this, just so I can uh, actually read any relevant things. I'll be right back. Okay, nothing of note really, apart from this is actually a bit of a fold-out image, which is quite nice. It's sort of a snowy forest somewhere in Japan or something. There might actually be a little card. Aha! And there is indeed. This month is snow, or yuki, I believe, as it's uh, called. That is in kanji, unfortunately, and not katakana or hiragana, so I can't actually read it. And on the back, that is the coupon if you do want to get the offer but i think you have to be an oyatsu box subscriber anyway so if you're seeing this and you have oyatsu box then you already have that card anyway so um let's just dive straight in shall we our first item is this oh hang on it's upside down okay sakanshi i think i will have a check and i'll be right back these are curry flavored senbei uh, senbei are like rice crackery things, and these are covered in a curry sauce, as you can imagine. Uh, that's pretty cool. I do like senbei, they're quite nice. Um, sometimes, sometimes they're a little bit plain and bland, but for the most part they're quite nice. Ooh, these look like cookies, or possibly some kind of, well, uh, rice crackery things? I'll have a check. These are snow senbei, they use Hokkaido milk, I believe. And, yeah, okay, they're both uh, snow ones. Apparently quite popular among children, something. They mix sweet and uh, salty kind of flavours. Interesting one. I'm not sure how much I'm going to like this, but we do have a very cute sleeping raindrop or something. Next up is... Ooh, hello over there. This is interesting, so it feels like lots of little things in... Um, Kunjin, I think, or something. Let's have a see. Let's have a look. This is the Yaokin Carrot, which makes sense, because it does indeed look like a carrot. It's full of popped corn little pieces, popped rice. Popped rice pieces, actually, I was wrong, so it's not popcorn, but it's kind of similar-ish. Interesting, I really like the packaging, actually, it's quite cool. And it's apparently quite a traditional dagashi, or a uh, snack for those of us in the trade. Oh, hello! Okay then, that's... Not something I expected. Is this Splatoon cereal? Splatoon 2 themed cereal. I'm going to go have a look. <laughs> so this is apparently called Splatoon Potato. They're like potato rings, um, if that makes sense, obviously, as you can see here. They're light seafood flavour, apparently, and in conjunction with Bandai, which is really interesting, because obviously Bandai doesn't publish this or anything in the West. Nintendo publishes it. But that is really cool. I really like Splatoon. I haven't played Splatoon 2 because I don't have a Switch yet. But the first one I spent hundreds of hours, well maybe not hundreds of hours, but almost a hundred hours I'd say safely. 
That is really cool. Uh, this, I'm definitely going to keep this because it's a nice bit of uh, Splatoon 2 goodness, really. Next up is... Wow, this is... Is this can uh, cotton candy? It feels like it. Okay, I'm f I'm back. This is Watagashi, which is basically, as I said, cotton candy. It comes in one of five flavours. Now, I think this is pudding flavour, because that looks very similar to the Giga Pudding uh, character, if anyone remembers the Giga Pudding sort of meme, well, viral video from years ago. Interesting. I've never had Japanese cotton candy before, so that's going to be cool. Now, this, I believe, is Black Thunder. And indeed, I just had to read, and that says Burak Sanda. So uh, I'm just going to double check exactly what this is, but it looks like it's got marshmallowy and like raisins. This is the Kinako version of Black Thunder. It's apparently a regular Black Thunder bar with pieces of Japanese sweet Kinako flour inside. I don't know what that is. However, I will put a little annotation at the bottom here about what Kinako is to maybe clear up what is in that bar, but it looks interesting. Next up, oh right, so this is the same as the snow things, except these are plain and they're, these are bonky senbei, so they're kind of salty rice crackers, they're the traditional flavour apparently, they're kind of, I think they're made in a traditional sense, um, so that's cool, you know, as I said, I like rice crackers, they're not my favourite, but I don't detest them either. And, woo, hello, that is an interesting expression there. Uh, I think this is something lemon, and by the looks of it, this is incredibly sour sweet. So let's have a look. Yep, this is just called super sour lemon candy, which I'm fine with. I'm not actually all that keen on sour stuff. Um, it's not that it's too much of me or anything, you know, I'll eat sour stuff, but I don't know. I've never really had a passion for it because, like, it's just a little bit unpleasant more than anything. Uh, okay, I'm going to grab around this, for it seems uh, there's no escaping it. What is that? Okay, well, so according to this, this is pizza potato, I think. Pizza, pizza, potato. Uh, oh, oh yeah, that's a pizza. I'm an idiot. How did I not realise this? So it's pizza flavoured crisps? This is rich pizza potato, apparently a new style of Calbee's iconic pizza flavour chips with big cheese flavour. I mean, that looks cheese, that looks cheese-tastic, to be honest. Uh, I'm more than okay with this, so apparently pizza is a regular Calbee kind of thing, and this is the cheesy version. And that looks like Lupin the Third, sort of like, styly disco cousin is cooking some pizza there or something. Okay, lovely. Uh, aha, there are two other things. Ooh, Ooh okay, this ple feels like a little uh, cho oh, Tyrol chocolate is probably what this says. Um, okay, interesting. I'm going to look exactly to what the hell a Tyrol chocolate is. This is apparently a very old uh, chocolate brand, and this is their very first product, the Sweet and Dark Chocolate or something. I really like dark chocolate, actually, so... That's cool. It's just a solid slab of pretty dense feeling chocolate. And our drink uh, is Mitsuya Cider. So Sorry? Mit so have they given a cider? Okay, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to check this. Have they just sent, a sent me a can of cider? So, yeah, this is Mitsuya Cider. Like, it's it's an old traditional Japanese thing, and that's great and all. Isn't this alcoholic though? Can't kids buy this? That's really, I'm gonna have a look around the can to see if I can see the alcohol um, percentage. Okay, I'm I'm back. I don't so I can't see anything about alcohol anywhere. I guess this is non-alcoholic cider then, but that's really really bizarre because. At least in Britain, anyway, cider is quite a popular alcoholic drink. It's, you know, it's kind of beer, but made out of apple. Well, you know, it's fermented apples and stuff. Interesting. I mean, I love I love apple-flavoured stuff, and I'll definitely drink this anyway, but I presume then it's a non-alcoholic cider? That's really confusing. Okay, and uh, finally, this is the uh, gacha. Interesting. Design? No. Okay. 
Uh, yeah. Let's open it up and have a look. First of all, uh, I couldn't make out what it was I got there, but let's see. Um, they're triangles. What? Ah, oh, coffee. Hang on, what? Milk. What it? Okay. Uh, interesting. Let's have a look. I've got orange fl flavour. I assume this isn't a food product. I assume this is like one of those cutesy things fashioned after a food product. I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got uh, fur furutsu. Okay, so that's fruits. That's lovely. It zips up. This is really bizarre. I'm purposely not reading what this is, just so I can try and work it out. It's obviously, it's, you know, something you dangle from. Is this like to hold coins or something? Is this a little purse thing? I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So, um, I didn't realise the side was actually kind of stuck to itself. Uh, so these are meant to look like juice drinks um, from Japan. There's one of five to collect, apparently, according to this. They're um, drink pouch gats gatchers. So there's milk, strawberry, fruit juice, which is the one we got, coffee or green tea. It's really interesting. Um, you know, a juice box. Yeah, I, it's really interesting. I'll give them that. It's very inventive. Um, however, I don't think I've ever drunk a juice box that looks like this. I'm still not sure what the the zip thing is for, though. Like, I suppose it's just to store stuff in. It's it's just a very weird shape. It, it's nice, don't get me wrong. And actually, of all of them, I think the fruit juice is the one I'd probably most want. Or the milk one. The milk one has a very adorable cow on it. And uh, anime cows are cute. But, yeah. So that's, that's an interesting one. Um... So, I'm going to arrange everything, and I'll be right back. So, I am back. I've arranged everything in a slightly uh, better manner. Gotta say, I was, you know, pretty impressed with this month's uh, Yatsu box. The Splatoon potato chips uh, in the back there is actually really cool. I love having um, theme products. The Gacha this month was... It was alright. Like, it's not bad. It's just... I think it's a cultural touchstone that maybe appeals to Japanese people a lot more than it would to people who grew up, you know, with square juice boxes. Uh, you know, everything is pretty cool. I like the fact that this does focus a little bit more on the savoury than the sweet, because I like sweet things, don't get me wrong, but savoury things, I feel, always have a lot more potential for variety. I've always got the weird flavours, the weird combos and stuff, whereas sweet kind of is nice but it does eventually come down to chocolate with this thing or milk with this thing or whatever anyway yeah overall pretty good uh box and also my last um i'm a little bit sad to say that i mean they have proven that they are continuing to do it that for whatever reason december's just straight up didn't ship another person did uh comment on my november yatsu box asking me the same thing because i think theirs didn't arrive either I'll try emailing them again if I do get some kind of response and hopefully maybe either a refund or, you know, an actual box or something, then I shall think about maybe making another video in the future. But as it stands, this will be the last I had to box for now. And as always, thank you very much for watching. Um, don't worry about subscribing or liking or commenting or anything. YouTube is killing any channel that's under a thousand subscribers anyway. I'm not even at 100 subscribers, so it doesn't really matter. I hope you enjoyed the video, though, and, you know, if you do have anything to genuinely tell me or whatever, you know, let me know below. I'm always happy to have a conversation or whatever. Uh, and, you know, if you do need uh, info on where to get this or whatever, I'll leave a link in the bio. And, yeah, that about wraps it up. So thank you very much for sitting through this almost 20-minute video. I shall see you again next time. Goodbye.